We've learned all about what kinds of fabric to buy, but now we gotta talk about how to keep those guys clean. Well, think about this. Curtains are hanging in your window, so air is passing to and from them all day long. All sorts of dust particles are getting caught in your curtain. Same for your pillows. They are the props that you are resting against. You, your little ones, your pets, whoever's in the house. So you might not see the dirt build up. Now maybe there's no stains on these guys yet. So just to clean them in an ordinary way to keep the dust off. For curtains, keep them hanging. And to remove the dust, just take a vacuum or duster and start from the top or bottom to keep them clean. Focus on the folds and bulky areas as you go. You can use a lint brush or a dryer sheet on any of the more difficult areas. The same goes for pillows. You can spot treat them if necessary, but a quick rundown with a dryer sheet or vacuum to remove any dust will work before any stains are apparent. If you're creating pillow covers and they're removable and your fabric permits, you can just toss them in a, into the wash on a gentle cycle. The same goes for your curtains, but just remember curtains are a lot bigger and you don't want to hang them to dry. Now, if you have fancy embellishments and or ruffles and details that you don't want to be ruined in the wash, you might need to take them to a dry cleaner if it's really necessary to get any stains removed. Also, before you sew, it's always a good idea to wash your fabric. That is to prevent any shrinking or strange things that might happen, to get those out of the way before you have it sewed up so it doesn't change shapes in the wash. Before you wash it though, make sure it's a machine washable fabric, which as I mentioned earlier, you can ask your store clerk about, or perhaps you aren't quite sure and you're not at the store anymore. Just hop online and the solution will be there. However, if it is a cotton or polyester blend, which most of our fabric is made of these days, machine washing them on a gentle cycle will work. And now that you're comfortable with the fabric you want to use, you are almost ready to head on over to that fabric shop and choose everything. But first, we have to know how much fabric to buy. So next up, I've got a bit on how to measure your windows to buy the right size curtains and how to know what size pillow to get. We're gonna be measuring our window, but before we do, we need to know what part of our window to measure. Now here is a very great trick that I want you to know so that your curtains will always make your room look dramatically bigger 